Diane Tabar, Coordinator of Learning Community at Wyndham City Council. And hi, I'm Meg Cotter, Education Projects Officer at Wyndham Community and Education Centre, a not-for-profit community-run centre in the City of Wyndham. So we're here to tell you a little bit about our Wyndham Learning Festival, and it's been running for three years now. The festival arose from an action in Wyndham's Learning Community Strategy 2014 to 2017. Wyndham Community and Education Centre offered to lead this action of Celebrate and Recognise Learning. Inspired by meeting Tina Nalon in Mexico in September 2015 at the Global Network of Learning Cities Conference and Tina's subsequent visit to Melbourne in July 2016, Wyndham CEC and Council set about making the first festival happen. And a big thanks goes to Tina for sharing her years of experience and wisdom with us. We formed a working group made up of staff from Wyndham CEC and council staff from libraries and community learning, the Youth Resource Centre, neighbourhood hubs and the communications team and some community organisations. We chose to run the festival from the 1st to the 8th of September each year to coincide with the already existing Adult Learners Week. Community members ranged from representatives of formal education institutions like schools and universities to health and community organisations, environmental groups, artists, sports clubs, local businesses and interested individuals. Our key messages are sent through a range of mediums. Real estate boards scattered throughout the city of Wyndham, pull-up banners used during events at different locations, local newspaper advertising and stories, the council website, media releases, posters, and our printed program guide. Probably the most expensive item of our very small budget. We also have an article in Wind News, which is created by the council and distributed to 75,000 households each month. In 2016, we held an opening night and launch on the 31st of August. We had a high profile keynote speaker, Maxine McHugh, who talked about education models of success and future developments. During the week, we had 100 events. In 2017 and 2018, we launched the printed program guide two weeks prior to the festival to generate some excitement and interest. We invited event providers and members of the learning community, sponsors, school choirs and orchestras. We had around 130 and 120 events throughout the week in 2017 and 2018. This year we developed a Wyndham Learning Festival show bag. 1,500 were given out during the festival. These were a trial that we will repeat again next year. Events vary from year to year. Many are things that event providers are running that week anyway, and some hold special events, come and try sessions, open days, some are one-off events run by members of the working group. Each year we ensure there are several high profile signature events to attract attention. Our most popular one has been the story time at the Werribee Zoo with over 200 people attending this year. Other festival events include cooking, craft, learning a language, environmental talks and walks, cultural art, dance and music programs, gardening, open days, communities of Burma, weaving, robotics, STEM activities, genealogy, digital photography bus tours, Aboriginal Waiapa movement, comic strip workshops, and the list is endless. And looking to the future, we continue to refine what we do and learn from each year's experiences and feedback provided by the public. The next Learning Community Strategy 2018 to 2023 is about to be launched and it embeds the Learning Festival into Council strategy. We're forming the next working group and we're starting to plan for the Learning Festival of 2019.